back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today we are going to work on the vases for our Mother's Day tablescape. Natalie over at Totally Dazzled contacted me and asked me if I would like to feature their new rose gold um, brooches and slides and flatbacks in our Mother's Day tablescape, and I said, sure, I will be honored. So I just want to show you a few pieces um, that we're going to use and also just tell you that their their pieces sparkle like diamonds they have napkin rings and pins to match together um, you can use the pins on the back of your chairs or on your curtains and you'll coordinate the pieces on your tablescape like that um, their prices are reasonable and their customer service is great Natalie sent me some pieces and I purchased some pieces and I will tell you that the shipping is the same whether they send them to you for um, promotion or whether you purchase them the time frame is the same now this brooch right here has the pearls in it that fit right into our Mother's Day tablescape and we're going to use that one along with the first one that I showed you and a couple of more so go and check Natalie over at totallydazzled.com out or on their YouTube channel here, Totally Dazzled. So we're going to use three um, three size bases in this project and all three of them come from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use their seven and one third base, their seven inch base and their six inch base. I think that's how they go. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pick out the brooches and different things that you're going to use in this DIY. And then we're going to start on the, the actual project of doing those um, bases, three bases. So this is the first base we're going to use, the fluted base. And with this one, you're going to need the base, some bling ribbon of your choice. I, of course, have rose gold. Um, you're going to use some Mod Podge, some glitter, some paint, rose gold paint. And I got the paint from um, Michaels and the, fab, the ribbon from Hobby Lobby. You're also going to need something to hold your paint in and a brush. That little small round yellow brush so what we're going to do is we're going to take our paint and we're going to put some in the well and we're going to take that small round brush and we're going to do a tapping motion on the glass we're going to do that all the way around now we don't want it to be um covered completely where you can't see through it we want the ambiance of the candles um to come through so we're going to put a very light coat on this vase and guys I also forgot to tell you that you're going to need some of the Dollar Tree candlesticks for this project as well so I'm just going to continue to do this technique all the way up the vase and then when I get to the top I'm going to put it aside and let it dry for a little bit and we are going to work on our next vase which is the 7 inch I mean I think it's 8 inches Eight, eight points I'll tell you guys I'll put it on the screen just to be safe so I won't keep telling you all different sizes so once I finish this up like I said I'm going to set it off to the side and I'm going to let it dry a little bit and I'm going to actually work on the candlestick now with the candlestick you want to do the bottom part the bottom layer of it you want to do it a thick coat thick collet solid coat and then you're going to take the paint off your paintbrush and just use what's left up there and you're going to do a sweep up motion till you hit that rim and this right here you want sort of like a gradual effect and what I forgot to show you when we use this t on the tall base, we're supposed to put some of the um, 
I'll show you when we get ready to put it on. But now I'm going to fix the ribbon to go around the base. And I'm just measuring it and cutting it off and folding each ends, both ends in so we can have a smooth um, finish. And here you just want to tack just a little bit, not a whole lot, so that um, ribbon can still fall off your boss. And then you're going to take your pen and you're going to do a motion like you're actually sewing so you can get a puckering effect. And when you get to the top of sewing, you're going to close the clasp and you're going to just position the ribbon right so you can get the pucker that you want in it. And then you're going to just glue a little bit of glue onto the back of the um, brooch so you can get this look right here. And then you're going to reopen um, the backing of it and you're going to glue the folds down so they won't stick out and once you have both sides um, secured down you're going to put the ribbon back around your base and you're going to close it up with sealing it with the glue all the way down make sure that you get it it's close to that the rim part or the the um the part that's that swoops out to make the top of it you want that ribbon right at that lip and now I'm just securing it all, all the way onto the boss. And then you have this beautiful boss with this beautiful brooch from Totally Dazzled up here. I think it's gorgeous. The camera doesn't do it justice. So now we're going to move on to the second tallest base that Dollar Tree offers. And with this project, we're going to use some masking tape, some um, glitter and Mod Podge, of course your ribbon and a brooch. Now what I'm going to, what I'm doing here is just measuring how far up I want my um, glitter stuff to go and then I'm just um, marking it off with the masking tape. There's seven different ways you can do it. You can eyeball it like I'm doing it. You can put water in it and it'll show you how to, um, where to do it. And also you can use a rubber band. And so now I'm putting a coat of Mod Podge all the way around um, up to where I have that masking tape at. And then after I do that, I'm going to take my glitter. I'm going to sprinkle it lightly over the Mod Podge because I still want the ambiance of the candle to be able to shine through. And once I finish doing this, we'll go on to the next step. Touch up any spots where the Mod Podge dried before you can get it on. Get the glitter on. So now I'm back to the tall base. Now here's where I wanted to tell you. You supposed to, I was supposed to show you how to put the glitter inside that well, but I didn't do it on this one. I, I dropped the ball. So right here I'm just using glitter and Mod Podge to a uh, I mean <laughs> E6000 and hot glue to um, secure the the bot the candlestick to the bottom of the vase. So after that, we're going to take can um, the Mod Podge and we're going to put some Mod Podge around the um, top edge of the vase, and then we're going to take some of the same of some of the same glitter and we're going to put that down on some newspaper and then we're going to dip the top of the boss inside of that glitter 
and that's going to give it that extra glam effect and some more sparkle and glisten, glistening on the base. And then once we do that, guys, we'll be finished with this one. So now back to our second tallest base. Um, I was saying that you need to seal it. You can use the spray Mod Podge or you can use the regular Mod Podge to seal it. I'm going to use the spray Mod Podge because it dries quicker. And I think that it works just as well as the paste Mod Podge. You should do, do this in a well ventilated area. But I'm just going to turn on my open my window and spray mine. So after you do that, you're going to remove the masking tape. Make sure that you take it slow because you don't want to rip all your hard work up. So just take your time and take it off. And you'll be left with this clean cut edge on your vase. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out your um, ribbon again to go around your boss and then once you do that you you want to take this um candle candle holder right here i got this from a thrift store and i'm going to fill that wheel up halfway with the glitter and that's going to go on the bottom of our boss now, I'm going to use, once again, E6000 and hot glue to affix this to the bottom of it. And, of course, you know, you're not going to be able to flip it over. So, you're going to have to center it over um, the vase. And then, there you have it. And you have that nice touch of the, the bling inside of the candle. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did to the first vase, but we're going to use the second biggest um, brooch. And then this is what it's going to look like. I think that's so gorgeous. But as you can see, I didn't let my thing dry good enough. So make sure you let your bottom piece dry be before you pick it up. Now the third and final vase is the smallest vase that Dollar Tree sells. So you're going to take two pieces of ribbon about the same size and then you're going to take one of the brooches and we're going to remove the back of the brooch. Now this is the brooch that has the um, pearl on it. So and then you have a flat back. So that's the nice thing about um, Totally Dazzled's pieces as well. They're versatile. So then we're going to take two of those pieces and we're going to take one and we're going to scrunch it up and we're going to attach our um, brooch to it. And then we're going to take the second one and we're going to place it crisscross with the, uh, with the first one, just like this. And you're going to wrap them in a circle pattern and a diagonal pattern. And you're going to have something that looks like this when you finish. And, and that's all we're going to do with that one. And so here's all three of the pieces together. I'm going to get them staged. And here we are, guys. The final look of all three of our vases. I think they turned out very well. Um, I think they give you a lot of sparkle and glam. I think the versatility of them are good as well. As you can see, um... I'm showing you the different brooches that I have on them and how everything ties in and you'll see these guys on our table. So guys, um, thank you for joining me with this tutorial. And so here they are, all three of the vases that will be on the tablescape. And it will be several different, it will be several of them on up there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye-bye.